My name is David Johns, and I'm the executive director of the National Black Justice Coalition. And I'm recording this response after having watched the mayor of Warsaw, North Carolina, A.J. Connors, offer a statement, which is quite frankly, a thinly veiled attempt to malign the character of Anthony Wall, a young black man who many of you have witnessed being assaulted, bullied by an officer who the mayor says was sent to make an arrest. This veto left me with so many burning questions. And at the core of each of these questions is an abiding understanding deep in my soul that what happened to Anthony could happen to me at any given moment. Mr. Mayor, who made you judge and jury? Have you contemplated the significance of inviting this case to be tried in the court of public opinion rather than the court of law? Where are the facts that you've considered to arrive at a point where you feel convicted enough to stand in defense of a police officer when no one is offering a similar account of what happened to a young man? It is not lost on me or anyone else who has had the opportunity to listen to you speak that the very cities that you have named, Warsaw, North Carolina included, have a deep and troubled history. The result of the collusion of race and racism, white supremacy and anti-blackness. In too many cities across this country, the attempts to control, to lynch, and to steal black bodies have resulted in this very moment here. And so I'm saying to you, with all the clarity that I can muster with the hope that you can hear me, you will not convince a single person to turn away from what is happening in Warsaw or what is happening around the country. I know that you and so many others want all of us to become numb to these moments, to not be affected by the reminders that we have an obligation and opportunity to lean in, to have tough conversations, and to acknowledge that unless and until we deal with the deep and abiding history of race and racism and homophobia in our country, we will continue to find ourselves in conversations like this. My ask is that every person who is thoughtful, caring, and concerned would see past all of the smoke that you're attempting to blow and join me in standing together to ensure that justice for Anthony is served. He, like all of us, deserves the basic human right of having equal protection under the law, and you, Mr. Mayor, will not attempt at attempting to ensure that that does not happen for him. Know that the National Black Justice Coalition, as a national organization, is proud to stand with other organizations, including Justice, in calling for your resignation. We will not turn away. We will not stop calling your office and the police department to ensure that this case is handled properly. We will show up. And we will continue to make demands to ensure that all of our children have the same protections that so many other white children have throughout this country, and in particular in Warsaw, North Carolina. We will not be moved, sir, and you should be clear of that.